The Supreme Court is all set to resume hearing of the Gyanbapi Mosque case today at 3 p.m. On Thursday, the Apex Court stayed the hearing in the Varanasi Court. The move came from the top court amid fears of the Muslim side that the Vazukhana, where a shivling was allegedly found, could be raised following the order by the Varanasi court to seal the area. Now, two survey reports submitted in the Varanasi court mentioned an oval-shaped shivling-like structure in the Gyanbapi mosque complex. Survey reports also reveal a conical structure under the mosque dome, four idols in crimson colour, temple ruins and images of deities. The survey report submitted before the Varanasi court mentions the shivling of two and a half feet in height. The report says that the depth of the shivling is 63 centimetres and the base circumference is four feet. Meanwhile, the Allahabad High Court will receive hearing the case which was filed 31 years ago in 1991 in the District Court of Varanasi. The council appearing on behalf of the temple argued that the property in dispute was not a Vakf property and the provisions of the Vakf Act were not applicable here. India Today speaks exclusively to Commissioner Bishal Singh, who submitted his survey report of the Gyanbapi Mosque to court. The survey was carried out from May 14 to May 16. Let's listen in to this exclusive. Vishal Singh, वो इस समय हमारे साथ हैं. बहुत सारी चीजें हैं, बहुत सारी बातें हैं. विस्तार से आप सब भी समझना चाहते होंगे. लेकिन जो चीजें आप वहाँ पर देख कर आए, Vishal जी, उम्मीद थी आपको. जी जो चीजें वहाँ दिखाई गई दिखी वहाँ पे जो चीजें वो मैंने अपनी रिपोर्ट में एकदम विस्तृत रूप से लिख दी है जो भी कोर्ट कमीशन कार्रवाई के दौरान जो जो चीजें हुई वहाँ पे और वो पूरी डिटेल मैंने ली है कि अगर डिफेंडेंट कुछ इस पे ऑब्जेक्शन करता है वो भी मैंने लिखा प्लेंटिव कुछ करता है उसको भी मैंने लिखा है अपनी रिपोर्ट में और पूरा जैसे बोला गया वैसे मैंने लिख दिया है अपनी रिपोर्ट में विशाल जी लेकिन आपने देखा क्या क्योंकि आंखों देखिए हम आपसे ही समझना चाहते हैं अब तो ये रिपोर्ट भी सार्वजनिक है जो शिवलिंग है कहा गया कि वो शिवलिंग है कहा गया कि वो फवारा है आपने उसको कैसे ढूंढा जी ये कमीशन के दौरान ये सब चीजें आई तो बीच में एक चीज छूटा हुआ था तो ये हुआ इसकी भी कमीशन कर ली जाए खाने की जी और वादी पक्ष द्वारा बार बार जोर दिया जा रहा था कि इसको देखा जाए इसको देखा जाए तो उसको हम लोगों ने देखा तो ये मैंने ये शिवलिंग वगैरह नहीं लिखा है मैंने ओवल शेप लिखा है ये काला पत्थर है और वादी पक्ष द्वारा ये कहा गया प्रतिवादी पक्ष द्वारा ये कहा गया कि फुहारा है वो भी मैंने एकदम डिटेल लिखा हुआ है और उसमें मैंने उसके आगे लिखा है कि मैंने जब कहा कि फुहारा चालू कर दीजिए तो फुहारा बंद था पहले कहा बीस साल से बंद है बाद में कहा बारह साल से बंद है ये भी मैंने लिखा है और जो इंतजामे कार हैं उस मस्जिद के उनकी मैंने एक बयान भी ले लिया कि 12 साल से बोले कि बंद है वो लिखा हुआ है वो भी मैंने कोर्ट में सबमिट कर दिया है एक और बात कह रहे हैं ना सब की उसके नीचे कोई हिस्सा है जहां से हो सकता है पूरा वो जाता हो शिला क्या आपने शिला का और छोर देखा जी जो कमीशन के दौरान जो दिखा मैंने अपनी रिपोर्ट में लिख दिया बाद में ये लोग कहने लगे नीचे जाने के लिए तो वो नीचे जाने का मेरे पास कोई आदेश नहीं था तो मैंने उस पर अपनी रिपोर्ट में एकदम साफ साफ दर्शा दिया है ये केवल आदेश नहीं था या फिर कोई नीचे नीचे चूँकि बार बार वादी पक्ष द्वारा कहा जा रहा था नीचे चलिए नीचे चलिए इसको ये करिए दीवार खुलवा दीजिए दीवार खुलवाने खुलवाने का मेरे पास आदेश नहीं था दीवार दीवार थी बहुत कम लोग हैं जो कि पूरे इस तरीके को इस तरीके से मुआयना किया होगा आपने पूरे भीतर परिसर का मुआयना किया सनातन धर्म के प्रमाण आपको मिले हैं वहाँ पर सारे तय खानों में मस्जिद में गुम्बदों पर मैं बता दूँ जो जो दिख, दिखा है वहाँ पे वो जो जो आप जो जो मैंने अपनी रिपोर्ट में लिखा है जो जो दिखा है वो मैंने लिख दिया है और दीवालों पर खुदा हुआ जैसे खोद जैसे खोदा हुआ कोई आकृति है वो खोदा है उसके ऊपर से पेंट है तो प्रतिवादी पक्ष ने कहा कि यह निशान है तो वो भी मैंने लिखा है उसमें जो जो चीजें दिखी हैं वो दिखी लिखी गई हैं now, the Gyan Bapi survey report submitted in the Varanasi Civil Court has hinted at a Hindu past of the mosque. The survey report says there are carvings of the lotus, the bell and kalash on the wall of the basement of the mosque. Nabila Jamal tells you what exactly has been found in the cellar of Gyan Bapi. As the debate rages on on what exactly was found inside the Gyanwapi Mosque by the survey committee, India today has managed to find a 12-page report that 
extensively describes the kind of religious symbols that they have spotted inside the Gyanwapi Mosque complex. This is exactly the 3D image of that mosque complex. In fact, the Gyanwapi Mosque shares a wall with the Kashi Vishwanath Temple complex, which is why you see that Hindu symbolism, that temple-like structure that very clearly shows that there could have been a temple there which may have been desecrated for a mosque to be built. Uh, that is the Shring, uh, in fact, the Shringar Gauri complex there, uh, where, where, where we're looking at the survey findings saying that that western wall that's aligned uh, right uh, by the Gyanwapi mosque at the back of the mosque that western wall had large-scale Hindu symbols, all including the lotus, the damru, the trishul. Uh, you had symbols extensively signifying that this indeed was a temple at one point. This is what the survey finding says. It's now in court. The court needs to dissect that. And that particular area where you see the barricading, that's exactly where the wazukhana was uh, or is, where they've they claim to have spotted a shivling, a two and a half feet shivling that they claim to have spotted, which the Supreme Court has now asked to protect. That's where you see the barricading right now to protect the shivling. And the most important part here is the shivling that the survey report claims to have found. The shivling that they say has been found right at the place where the Wazukhana is at the Gyanwapi Mosque. And this is the 3D image that we show you here, where we're looking at that Wazukhana, which has been fully barricaded after the Supreme Court asked to protect the shivling, but also at the same time not to impede upon the rights of Muslims to carry out their namaz. So this is that Wazukhana area where you see right in the center, the shivling uh, has been spotted as as per the survey findings. Now the distance between the Nandi as it's visible, the distance between the Nandi and the Shivling found is about 63 feet and 3 inches. This is what the survey finding has to say and of course the circular cutwork design on top of the Shivling, that's what the survey further says, that there is some kind of cutwork on top of that Shivling which they're trying to establish what is. Now we're also looking at a less than half inch deep hole right in the middle of the shivling. This is what the survey findings claim further. But on the other hand, you have the Muslim side debating that this is not a shivling, that this oval structure is merely a water fountain. The mosque management is also asked to, in fact, the management asked to operate that fountain. But at the same time, they were not really able to give out factual details on how long has this water fountain been, been functional, whether it was functional or not, that still remains a mystery. In fact, first the mosque management said the fountain was not functional for about 20 years. And then they went on to change the stance and, and said that the water, uh, water fountain was not functional for 12 years. So there seems to be some discrepancy in the information that the mosque management has given. It seems like they lack that knowledge. Uh, the mosque management could not really eventually prove that that fountain was indeed operational or not. So on one hand you have the Hindu side saying that it is a shivling uh, but on the other you have the mosque side saying that this is a water fountain. Now remember the survey went on to open up several locked doors of the Gyanwapi Mosque, which of course the mosque committee had opposed to. But post the Varanasi court's order, some of those doors were opened up. Even the cellar, the basement area was ventured into. The survey committee has gone down to find right at the cellar, several pan shaped leaves literally on the wall of that basement. That cellar had some kind of carvings that resembled pan shaped leaves which is again synonymous to Hindu religion in many ways. Also on that pillar were carvings of the lotus, of a bell as well as the kalash. This is of course very important as the survey findings tries to establish that indeed there is extensive Sanatan Dharm symbolism within that Gyanwapi mosque and this cellar, cellar here is uh, one proof that it seems like the survey wants to present before court. The court, of course, now is going to take up the matter for debate. It remains to be seen what's going to be decided post that. Now, the political war over the Gyanwapi survey is getting heated after new findings of the 12-page survey report, which was submitted in the Varanasi court. The BJP has been accused of a communal agenda. The All India Muslim Personal Law Board member, Kamal Faruqi, hit out at the Saffron Party, said, in fact, that this will not end here. Gradually, all minority religious places will be targeted in the coming days, he said. Now, earlier, the BJP lashed out at Asaduddin Oasi, accusing him of communalizing the Gyanwapi issue. BJP IT cell chief Amit Malviya branded Oasi a bigot and a hypocrite for his masjid 
था और मस्जिद रहेगा डेक्लेशन मीन वाइल समाजवादी पार्टी लीडर मुख्तार अंसारी इज अंडर द स्पॉट लाइट नाउ इन मैसिव क्लेम द हिंदू साइट हेज अलेज द ज्ञान वापी मॉस्क ट्रस्ट वॉज फंडेड बाय समाजवादी पार्टी लीडर मुख्तार अंसारी all these issues which should not have been taken up because there has been a guarantee by the parliament mm. that after babri masjid nothing else would be disturbed and the status quo would be maintained everywhere but we have seen it how the things are moving so uh, this is a very disturbing feature not from the muslim points of view alone rather we are more concerned about the country mm. where are we heading and what would be the image of the country across the world mm. uh, we have been a, a plural society for thousands of years it is high time that the prime minister of india puts an end to all these things his government must categorically tell the country whether they stand by the 1991 act or not whether they accept the supreme court judgment that the 1991 act is now related to the basis of structure of the constitution all these elements all these people who are going to the courts have a sang parivar connection it is their conspiracy it is their design to take this country back to the to the dark era of late 1980s and early 1990s my colleague gorav savant is now joining me live from varanasi gorav good morning to you now that the survey reports both the previous commissioner ajay mishra's report and now the advocate commissioner vishal singh's reports have been submitted what is expected next so right now even as we speak uh, you know let me just show you that's the gyanwapi uh, mosque premises behind me and this is the kashi vishwanath temple just look at the number of police personnel who have now been deployed here and the reason well moments from now look at what is happening all around me you have a large number of devotees and pilgrims who are coming here and when you look around equally large number uh, in in terms of uh, namazis they are also coming for the juma namaz of course the anjumane intizamia uh, of the masjid uh, of the gyanwapi premises here they have requested pilgrims uh, they have requested uh, namazis not to come in large numbers why is it that they don't want any untoward incident they do not want this situation to uh, escalate uh, at all in about an hour from now the namazis will be here for the juma namaz and since the wazu khana has been sealed off the namazis have been told that when you come here for namaz in 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 small numbers do the wazu elsewhere do it at your home come here offer namaz quietly and then go back so that is what is happening here apart from the uttar pradesh police you also have the central reserve police force they have been deployed here commandos of the up police they are deployed here additional police forces have been called here all over the aim is to ensure that the friday namaz uh, uh, and the prayers they both pass off peacefully today right so that is of course the police deployment that has been made outside the gyanwapi mosque area because today of course uh, is uh, the friday the juma namaz day and hence uh, they are expecting that namazis will be reaching uh, the masjid very shortly also in the case uh, gorav what is expected now the supreme court of course will be hearing the matter at 3 pm but as far as the varanasi court proceedings are concerned give us a sense uh, holistically of what's expected so as far as the varanasi court is concerned um, all papers have been submitted there and in court they will uh, wait because the supreme court has very clearly directed no action to be taken even on the reports that have been submitted nothing to be done till 3 pm today 3 pm today is when the supreme court hears the case and this is uh, because the hindu paksh lawyer uh, uh, you know vishnu shankar jain uh, sought 24 hours time uh, since uh, the senior lawyer uh, was not available uh, due to health reasons for a, for a day now 3 pm they hear the case again status quo, status quo is to be maintained uh, till then but otherwise right now the survey report and in india today and aaj tak we were the first to bring out details of that survey report that report is viral here um, you know when we went inside and we went uh, to uh, the kashi vishwanath temple we saw where uh, nandi uh, lord shiv's ride is and you'll be surprised to see the number of devotees and pilgrims who are here uh, praying today uh, you know the the 
the emotion, the feeling that they go and whisper their prayer in Nandi's ear. Uh, you should just see the cues. Cameras are not permitted there. But you should just see the cues in that area just to whisper a prayer. And not only were they praying at the temple built by Ahilya by Holkar, uh, the, the Kashi Vishwanath temple and other temples here, they were also praying in the direction of where the Shivling is, uh, you know, behind a huge wall and a series of barricades. And the Hindu side wants those barricades, uh, and, and especially the ones that lead to the uh, basement or the Tehkhana, to be removed so that they can carry out further investigations to prove, according to them, that there was no fountain here and that it indeed is a Shivling. While, according to them, all the other evidence vary from the swastik to the trishul to the damru to the motives to, uh, you know, the shank, all that has been found is a very clear indication that there was a temple here that was demolished to build a mosque. And these are the first images that you see of namazi slowly coming in for the namaz. Remember, the entry uh, is the same and that is why it explains the number of police personnel who are deployed here. The namazi is going from one gate and you have the Hindu devotees going in uh, from the same gate, but you have pilgrims uh, here and the police here to ensure that everything happens peacefully. And let me try uh, to, to speak to some of them, Polomi, if I may, and if they would uh, want to speak to us and tell us uh, how their namaz, uh, you know, will be carried out today and how different will it be. You have namaz here to do the namaz. Where so, uh, we will try and speak to more pilgrims, this one, uh, to, to more namazis. This one didn't want to speak here, uh, but uh, some of the namazis we spoke to and they prefer talking off camera said that they'd been given clear instructions to uh, do wazoo either at home or an alternate location that is being worked out for them, Polomi. Okay, okay. So the Namazis have been told uh, unofficially, of course, by the Masjid Committee as God of Reports uh, to offer uh, their prayers at the Masjid, but do their wazoo ahead of it, possibly at home or at some alternate location because the wazoo khana area has been sealed off. Gaurav, thank you so much for joining us with all of those live details.